now to a hero of an earlier era who died far too young. Laurie Cunningham was the first black footballer to represent England at the under-21s level. Now, 25 years after his death, the life of the legendary West Bromwich Albion winger could become a film. Producers have gone online using crowdfunding to raise the money to make the Black Flash, and they're already halfway towards their £3 million target. Albion coming strongly now in these last five minutes. Dummy by Regis and Cunningham almost in. He is in. Keelan saves. He was gifted, the ballet dancer who'd glide past his opponents. Laurie Cunningham was loved by fans of West Bromwich Albion. For teammates like Brendan Batson, he was a joy to play with. It was quite extraordinary at times, you know, and he's, you see, he was very, very athletic. But allied with that was um, he had tremendous skill and he was very courageous because there was a lot of, in those days there was a lot of fullbacks lining up and queuing up to give him a good kick in. But Laurie Cunningham's story is about so much more than a footballer. He was one of Albion's so-called three degrees. In the late 70s, there were few black players. Albion had three with Cunningham, Brendan Batson and Cyril Regis. In a career of firsts, Cunningham was the first black player to represent England and in 1979 became the first British player to sign for Real Madrid. For filmmaker Leo Perlman, it's a story that has to be told. He was this incredibly charismatic, reluctant hero um, who played at a time when racism was rife uh, in the country. He bucked against the trend, dated a white girl throughout his career, um, was at times despised by both communities equally, and most of all left a legacy that we're still feeling today. Cyril Regis played with Cunningham at the Hawthorns. They became great friends. He says Cunningham was flamboyant, but also misunderstood. Deep down he was quite quiet and reserved, and I think uh, having those that, 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 that mixture of uh, flamboyancy and quite reserved, people got him a bit mixed up. Laurie Cunningham died in a car crash in Spain, aged 33, but his story continues to inspire. He, he was a fantastic player, but he's also a groundbreaker, wasn't he, in many ways? Yeah, I mean, we don't bat an eyelid now when people, English players go abroad, but I mean, when he did it, aged 23, to Real Madrid, there wasn't the support, he didn't speak the language. It was a brave move for him then. Yeah, I mean, he became a legend. I wonder if Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank will too. Well, we start to find out, don't we, this mm. evening. It's his first game in charge as Burton Albion manager.